these West African men, they will make sure they make you feel good. They can outsmart me. In life of Omo, Africa. Omo. <laughs> Yoruba demon. And they he said, this man will not hesitate to sleep with your friend. I say oh. that. Because there was one Nigerian guy who was saying he knows the package of getting a Kenyan girl. Like what? Nyash. Nyash. So it's the way when they start saying our wife, just know our, it's a wrap. It, our, our, baby, I like you, baby. Baby, this, I was. And you know, for us, I don't know. Ah, what did he say? Kenyan women are gold diggers. You are not. But the Ghanaian men are so. I've dated Kenyan men and I know how Kenyan men can be. How many West African guys have you dated? Oh, why would I say that? Okay. So what's good beautiful people welcome back again to our YouTube channel. So in today's video we are not going to talk about how to come to Qatar or how to find a job or how to change your job in Qatar. Today we are going to talk about social issues which is relationships so dating in Qatar. Things to look out for and um, we've heard some rumors it's like West African men like Kenyan, Kenyan women. I don't know where that came up from but well that's what we've heard so far so uh we just want to talk about things to look out for if you are dating any west african men in doha here especially from nigeria if you are new in doha this video is for you so i have my beautiful sisters here i'll let them introduce themselves hi guys my name is maggie and i'm not a youtuber but i'm here to educate you okay. <laughs> experience. you know that video right yeah. Yeah, i'm not a pastor i'm not, I'm not, I'm not a yeah. Ooh, yeah i'm not i'm not the, I'm not the a youtuber i'm not a youtuber i'm, I'm the youtuber's you. friend yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm the youtuber's friend yeah. Yeah. yeah so so guys i know my face is not new here my name is julia barbara and yeah i'm happy to be back on your, your channel's channel. name maybe someone first yeah time I am. I'm, I'm. I have a, a YouTube channel, by the way, and I go by the name Junior Barbara on my YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel too. No. She, May, hopefully in future. She just said about the <laughs> challenge that. She, but she's not the YouTuber. Yes. But, she's but anyone who knows me, you have to follow these two people. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's nice. So we've we've you know putting down a few things, like a few points over here that we are going to talk about them. So we will start <coughs> from from point number one. So. Um, this is what they came up with. I mean, I'm a man. This is what they came up with. They said 99% of Nigerian men are married back home, but they tell you they are single here. Is it is it from experience or things people have told you? Well, it's from personal experience and also experience from. No, hold on. How many West African guys have you dated? Why, Why? would I say that? Why? I will not. No, she should that. say it, right? I can't. I can't answer that. Okay, you. But I... How many? <laughs> Me. Yes, me. You. Mine is so easy. Yeah, you are. How many? I've never dated any West African men. If you ask me the reason why, they are very nice men. They look good, tall, dark, handsome, handsome. every single thing like a but woman is dark. looking for. Does that mean I'm but, not from West Africa? Huh? I'm not dark. No, I it doesn't. Sure I, mean, I mean, not dark, dark. When we say dark, melanated. Say like yeah, melanated. Yeah, melanated. Yeah, yeah. Like that. But um, not not because they are not look good looking or anything like that. But for me, I, I've never dated any, even though I live in Qatar, where I, I can see loads of them. But it's because I feel like they are way smarter than me. They can outsmart me, and uh, they have a good tongue, very good tongue. Sharp or tongue. sharp. <laughs> no, I, hold on. I so think does that mean you that cannot? You cannot some. Your partner you shouldn't be smarter than you, or like you want no, to they, be on the same level. No, they they should. They should. But I feel like. Um, they are, they can be doing like what you just said they they are married back home you they can make sure they maintain that you know i've dated kenyan men and i know how kenyan men can be kenyan men can, even if they are dating outside and you are married they will always forget at some point in life they will forget and you find out then you will find out but then these west african men they will make sure they make you feel good they will treat you good. They will do everything good for you. So you're not even. So uh, for me, I've never dated them. Not because reason being is they are very smart, too smart. Okay. How about you, Maggie? And they lie. <laughs> All men lie. We are coming All there. men we are lie, coming but their there. lie is on another there. level. It's, a, uh, it's on another level. Okay. How about I've you? I've definitely Maggie? dated Nigerians. I love them. By the way, this video is not to bash anyone. Yeah. We are just. Um, Helping out our sisters, they have cried a lot, and we are here to rescue them. And, so I've definitely and me on dated the other Nigerian hand, men. West African and I'm entitled like to my, uh, my my opinions of as course, well. Of course, of course. You, you are here to expose that. To <laughs> yeah, give us moral African. support. <laughs> give us moral support. Okay, so so on the first you. point, no, but you should tell us if it's true. 
Yeah, you should you should be you like okay. You think it's true what we just like okay. say? If so, they are married or something, they always <laughs> lie. Why do they lie? Okay, so of course, yes, human beings. Even Satan lied to Jesus Christ. Everyone lies. No, so the thing Our is, our president lies to us. Everyone lies. The thing is, Nigerian men. Okay. As we have said, most of them, 99%, are married either here, back at home, or abroad. Abroad in UK. So okay. when they are here and they want to, you know, get a lady, definitely, not all of them, okay. but majority comes with lie like, ah, I'm not married, I don't have this and this and that. Because the wife is not here, you wouldn't know. Exactly. So before you get into relationship with them, do your due diligence, like, find make sure, first. yeah, find, try and find, you can find, if you're a smart person, you can find How out. How are you going to find easily. out? You can always find out. Because they try to maintain, they will, they will try to do things for you that you will never even know that they are married. They will always be there for you if you call them. They will always take care of you. Of like, that's what we are supposed to do. Sprinkle, As a man, sprinkle. To, so like you want sprinkle, sprinkle? You can always <laughs> find out because... There's, there's sprinkle, sprinkle that girls love. If the wife is not here, definitely this guy, especially if he has children, they have to be communicating. So definitely you will know the calls, you will definitely know if you're so, a, if you're a so smart person. So I say a woman cannot do the same thing to a man. Like you are married back home, and then you know we find you here, we start a relationship. Women with can you. women can do also. And you can also hide it. Yes. For all you know, you can tell your husband, oh, you can only call me at 7 p.m. because 7 p.m. that's the only time I'm on break. But if you I have, work 24 hours. If, they, 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 if you're dating that. a Nigerian and you're here, definitely you will go to his, you'll spend time with him. This is what I'm saying. Like, okay. a, a, a smart person, you'll be able to know, even leave alone wife, even just a girlfriend, if someone is cheating on you, you can tell if you're smart. So yeah. you have to okay. do your due diligence Let me answer before. Barbara's question. Why, why are West African men like this? So mm -hmm. I think it's from uh, upbringing, okay? Now, I spoke to some Kenyan girls, let me say ladies, and they told me that the reason why most, I don't know whether it's all of them or most of the Kenyan women depend solely on guys is because they grew up watching their fathers take care of their mothers. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. well, it's also same back home, but we also believe in support. Okay, so I have your back, you also have my back. Dad is contributing, mom is contributing, dad is paying bills, mom is, and most of us are from, you know, like, you know, West African, we have like rich culture. So West yeah. Africans, you guys, like a woman can go to work. Of course. Even way back before. Not even way back, even till now. Even yeah. West African. No, but the most important is because Look, even now, Nigerian... even now, Kenyans, they, most of the women work. A lot of people feel like Kenyan women are gold diggers or they are, they are, whenever they are dating someone, they are after something. But just what you said now, it's true because from our culture, we grew up seeing our parents take like, <laughs> My mom will stay at home and uh, you know the the dad will go to work and do everything and there will be a respect. But now that is changing no, due to for us, everything. Back, and back in the days, dad will have to go to work, mom will have a small provision shop selling pampers, selling biscuits. Really? Yes. Yeah. No, for us it was so that, different. That's, like it was a full time that's why stay you, at you home mom. Say, uh, Ghanaian men are stingy. We are not or even West African men are stingy. We are not stingy. But their Ghanaian men are so no, okay, last time I said this on my status, we only give you if you deserve it. How about that? Because <laughs> I can't just wake up giving everyone money. Anyway, we, are, we, are, we agree, we agree, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We agree. Don't, don't make my heart jump from here. But at least, let me just say I'm something. Ghana, am I at least Ghanaian men, am I please, just yes, try, no, Barbara. To, like, try to be like the Nigerian men. Barbara, am I don't stingy? be like Kenya. Nigerian, Ghanaian men, same as up group with the Kenyan men. <laughs> huh? What? Kenyan Charlie. men. Okay, okay. On to our okay. second so, point. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go to our second point. Um, uh, you have it here, right? Yeah. So you can bring it up. They want to marry you even before they date you. So this guys, guys, so these men, uh -huh. you meet them. Uh -huh. Let's say you're meeting, you you meet them everywhere, anywhere in Doha. They are everywhere. They are always they everywhere. They are always everywhere. You meet them, you give them your number. Okay. First of all, they will embarrass you with calls. Baby, have you eaten? Baby, I was calling you embarrassing. I, wait, baby, I see, I see my future in your eyes. I see Aye. my kids in your eyes. Of course, that one is called this vibe. Man, they will start no. giving you vision how I can, I can, I can see us <laughs> together. Eh, you're going to be my wife. You look like my our mother. wife. Our if, wife. If they are with their friends, <laughs> okay, I've never dated one, but <laughs> from experience, our wife. Oh, yeah, our wife. <laughs> By the way, when they start saying our wife, just know our, it's a wrap. our, our has a meaning. Yes. Meaning our one of them. 
<laughs> I don't know if my English is making sense, but it to does, be honest, guys, I've never, dat- hours, I've never, right? I've one never of, dated a Nigerian one guy. Of but one of most many, of them, yeah. most of them have stopped me, especially. I had a recent one who stopped me at the metro, mm-hmm. politely asked me for my number, and then I Now, said, "How do you like, know he's a Nigerian? Oh, is it you from the accent? Know. Accent is so easy. Because you know, I can know a Kenyan guy because even Kenya. Kenya one thing about Kenyan guys, I know guys, West African men are yeah, very bold as well. Yeah. Kenyan guy would will try to ask, say something to you, but then what Kenyan guy will do if you don't respond to them? If you don't say something to them, they will abuse. They will abuse. abuse you. Abuse you. Men How do you feel wings. about yourself? Blah 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 blah. And I always see them on TikTok complaining yeah. that oh, all our Kenyan girls are dating uh, Nigerian men. Because we even if you say I've said I've said no, Malik, I've said no to so many Nigerian guys. Not because I don't like them. They are very nice guys, but I'm just trying to avoid some stuff. But then they will just say it's okay, sister. It's okay, and they will leave you. Some of them they will not leave you. They will just they will keep on keep following on, yeah. you. But then they will respect that she doesn't want anything. A Kenyan guy will say words to you. No, we, we were not brought up like that. So. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I was saying I've met a Nigerian guy, and uh, immediately he asked for my number. That time I said, okay, let me just try to be nice because he was saying that he was new here and he wants to get to know places and you know things I'm like that. I'm a tall guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> callings, calling, call, even before I was with, I think I was with her. Even before I've not even reached anywhere, he started calling, saying things how he likes me, blah blah blah. A and lot they will, of things. they will not hesitate to call you baby, even before they know your name. They're meeting you, hi baby, baby. can I please have your? Na- <sighs> And do you get but then, do you down. West African talk with can anyway? I feel like it's more respectful, but they always say, Please, madam, Please, can I yeah, have yes. a Kenyan guy will tell you, Can I, as if he's give owning that number? Like, yeah, it's like, Give me a number, yes. give, your, no, no, give you a nice number as if true. he's owning that number, for like us, he bought no, it. No, 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 yeah. So, this, you know, for us, it's even dis- disrespecting to make an eye contact when you're talking to someone, really. Yes, wow, like for. I'm not. I'm not that old, but I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, like. Old. At least you know his age now. <laughs> oh, no, but I mean, back home, if you're talking to someone you really love or someone, you know, you put up there. When you're talking to them, you you can't even maintain an eye contact because that's how we're brought up. You know, like, mm. don't look at me, eyes down. Like, it's, you know. So for us, yeah. the respect is always there, and I believe West African men will not all West African men. Why are we even boxing? I think it's. Is is Ghana and Nigeria because our tongue is sharp, just like she said. <laughs> <laughs> so sharp. It's sharp. So let's and move sweet. to the next uh, point. Uh, this man will not hesitate to sleep with your friend. I say oh. this. So they you mean will they, not they, you mean hesitate. They, sleep, they will sleep with your friend if they have the chance. If they if they no, if they no, get no, not just West African men. Any any man can do this. Wait, but we are talking about You're talking Nigerians. From experience. Yeah, oh, okay. yes, from experience. Nigerians. From experience, not only my or our experience. Mm. Other people they can relate. Yeah. Guys, if you can relate, leave comment a comment. Leave a comment. So these people, my you, Kenyan <laughs> base, comment <laughs> down below. If you know you don't have friends who have sense and manners. Don't take them near this man because they will not hesitate to, to sleep sup, sup. with you. <laughs> not one, two, three, all of you. If you're a group of friends, they will go around and pass it on to the next yes, brother. I don't know, it. <laughs> ah, what did he say? <laughs> so ladies, ladies out there, be very, very careful. I'm not saying all of them, not all of them, but a, but a big number of them, like a good number of them. They will not hesitate. They will sleep with you, sleep with your friend. With your sister, if you bring your sister close, and she's beautiful, and, and she's and even your mom. Well, if she's young, <laughs> and looking so, good, baby girls, be careful, be careful. This issue of carrying your friends to your boyfriend, I'm not saying don't do it, but just know know the man and know your your friend, so that if the man is coming to your friend, you know you have a friend who can say no. Okay. So that is point uh, number three. How about three. you, Barbara? Do you, do you have you uh, encountered such thing like? Or have you even heard from your fellow Kenyan friends? They tell you, ah, this my boyfriend wants to sleep with my, mm. my best friend, or even something like that. If I be honest, yes. Uh, yes. I remember she told me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I remember she told me a story. That's why I said yes. Yeah, yes. I've I've been in the same situation. Like, oh, like guys, 
please. I don't hate. Come on, so I, 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 so don't, I don't hate West Africa. No, we don't. In general, actually, that's what we say. Especially but Nigerians. We, just, we love you, you can, people. I don't, I don't hate West African men. You can even see, I said something about Kenyan men. And I can say something about even any Arabs, white, whichever. Sure, sure. Every, everyone has their own uh, story. But um, it's true what Maggie said. Like, uh, I've, I've been to places where I was invited as a plus one. Maybe there's a party. or Because, you know, if you're dating West African, comment down below. These people love enjoying life, Enjoyment. parties, Shio, stuff like Shio that. And, then they will, Shio, and they will always ask you, can you please bring your friends, your friends something yeah. like that. Please, when you're bringing your friend, that loose one, make sure that day she doesn't even know where you are she going. She should not be off. So I was in the same situation and I went there and Experience. the guy, and the guy who was dating one of my friend was trying to, you know, mini mini with mini, me. Mini with can me. Imagine. And I went and tell my friend and my friend got angry with me. But it, I, I don't know why my friend got angry with me because at the end of the day, she knows very well. I even appreciate because Maggie understands that. She knows very well that I don't hate them, but then I love them from there. Just from be a there. Distance. And I because the good thing about West African men also, they can I don't know if you have that point down, but the good thing about them is if you are dating them, by the time they leave you, if you're smart enough. I've seen ladies who are dating Nigerian men, they always open your eyes. Yeah. It's not that dating with them only, like what Malik said. In Kenya, we believe men go out to work and as a woman, I should stay home. But that changed already, so don't come at me on the comment. That changed already. But <laughs> when you are dating a Nigerian man or any West African, can be in Ghanaian, which other country, whatever. Cameroon, but mostly for me, I, I just know, Nigeria. for me, I just know Nigeria and Ghana. They will always take you out of your comfort zone. Like, yeah. what can you do? Even if you are working here in the Middle East, yeah, you are you are doing this job. But they want you to see yourself next year in something else. So even if you are working here as a waitress, where do you see yourself next year? They will always want to, you know, push you to do something. Push you to do something. So even because they know they you will not be with them in the next three years. So they want to see you do better. It's not like yeah. Kenyan guys they will come. Give you pregnancy you are not that and bad. go. Believe yeah. you with something. That's a, that's a whole a whole other topic. Yeah, we'll that's still come a whole. Back. Yeah, we'll come back if with you. If you wanna hear yeah. more, leave a I comment. I think that's the positive side of you yeah, know, the positive yeah, side is that West yeah. African men. But for it says they can do anything just to get you your attention, and they can make you fall in love with them immediately. immediately. These men have a these men have a the sweet tongue. tongue. My sister. And that's why I avoided them because of the time. Yes, my sister. In order for you to date a Nigerian guy, you have to be smart, sister girl. You cannot go there being dumb. You cannot be swayed away by just anything they say. Auntie, Honey, this is shine your You are supposed eye. to enjoy it. Go free Wait. hard. Before. Oh, wait. wait. Niger relationship Niger you are, like you are watching no, no, no. the back. Nigeria, wait. go it's with your like head, that. everything. Go with, with Nigerians, everything. you have to go holding God one hand and your common sense. Eish. Otherwise, these people... You will see Shege. You will see Shege. <laughs> so ladies, you have you have to be smart because these men will say they will say and if they want to get you, they will if if a man has targeted you, a Nigerian guy, I'm telling you they will get you. So you have yeah. to be really, really smart. <laughs> you have to know the words they use. You have baby, to Baby, I like you, baby. This, baby, I was and you know for us, baby, I want to marry you. I will you. sell my country for you. I Imagine. will sell it. They will lie for Omo, Africa. Omo. <laughs> They will lie for Africa. So you have to be smart so that when these lies are coming, you're able to filter and know when he's genuine and when he's just playing around. He he mentioned, are smart. He mentioned one guy, people. I don't know. He mentioned uh, exactly. That guy mentioned, I don't know. I don't know Nigerians. Uh, I mean, he said something about Yoruba, oh, Yoruba mm -hmm. Igbo. And if you, the worst ones that he said, not me saying, I'm just saying from someone saying, I don't know if I'm making sense. He said Yoruba demon. And they he said I, oh, Ibo, I don't know, am I saying it right? Oh, Ibo, 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 Ibo. Ibo. Oh, Ibo. And then he say Ausa, Ausa will finish you. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> But guys, just 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 a tip. Go and date Ibo men if you want good life. Just go and date eh? Ibo men. Just go and date Ibo men. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, tell me. How does it feel dating people? No, that, that, is, that is a whole nother topic. Why do you want to give them everything okay, on one okay, video? Okay, okay. 
We're gonna come back. We, we're gonna have comment more. down below. Just comment down GM below. Or. We have lots of gist for you people, okay. so just comment okay. down below. Okay. So you will get to the especially why if women are the best. Yeah, yes. especially if you are from that guy mentioned something. But yeah, I've I've known about Nigerian men mostly, of course, here who are dating my friends or who are just living here, and also on TikTok. This guy mentioned that Nigerian men they like nyash nyash. So well, if you are from South Africa and you are coming here and you are you, you, you always fall in love, you know as a human being, you can be that kind of a person that you fall in love very easily. Easy. So if you are falling in love easily, and then if you are from Kenya, because I know Kenya, because there was one Nigerian guy who was saying he knows the package of getting a Kenyan girl. Do you want me to mention the package? No, 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 no. no. Okay. On another yeah, video, knows, guys, yeah. like a formula. Yeah, right? a yes. formula. He knows oh a formula God. and a package of. So. Yeah, they, they, they know. So that's why I say. Yeah, they you, know. You have to be so smarter be than what they know Kenyan that's, ladies to be, oh or God. African ladies to be a certain way. So in order for you to like, somehow this guy will see like, okay, this girl has sense. You have to be smart out yeah. of the ordinary. He should not swear you away with the normal because they are saying they. I didn't even know they have a package for dating Kenyan. They have a guys. Don't, don't, know, be, doing like don't be doing us I like know, that. Don't be doing us like that. I know the that. package. Yo, he mentioned yo. the package. So if you are coming to Qatar oh. and you are from Africa, how haven't I seen this video? Yeah, you send it to me again. Yeah, I will. I've not seen it also. And you are, you, the I'm curious about the, the package. The package, I know the package. So she's gonna tell us yeah, off camera. I'm, I'm gonna tell them off camera. So if you're coming from, especially Nigerian men, or I don't know Ghanaian. First of all, guys, don't don't come at me. I didn't know the difference between Nigerian men and uh, Ghanaian men, and I used to get confused. I used to know that they are same people. <laughs> Until one day, be the same? yeah. Even sometimes, like, uh, we are brothers. We are, we are like, yeah, we are brothers. Like Kenya and Tanzania, Kenya. I, I was at this party and I mentioned something about the uh, the party was apparently for Ghanaians. Yeah, you told me that and story, then I, right? yeah, and then I mentioned something about the jollof. I said something about Nigeria. Hey, the Nigerian jollof is always nice. They wanted to throw me out of the of the to the party, right? yeah. Because we're in the middle of nowhere in the ocean. They wanted to throw me outside because I say that. So comment down below. I don't know about the fight between Jollof in Nigeria and Jollof in, I don't know, it's so Senegal. But the original have a friend Jollof from is from Senegal. Senegal. Yeah, Senegal yeah. has a friend of mine Jollof. from Senegal told me, listen, the best Jollof is from, from Senegal. Senegal. Of Senegal. Course. So even me from Ghana, I would say the best. Everyone is trying to sell their country, put their country up yeah. there. But as I met that we are not from your country, we are the ones who can tell you. Yes. No, wait. I met a Kenyan who told me Gambian jollof is the best. How oh, about that? Gambian also they have jollof. Yes. Okay. Well, the, the, Rose, right? Rose. Yeah. She has traveled almost everywhere. She told me, oh, she, man, that would be another story. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I will, will, will last do another points. video with the package as well. Okay, so let's go to our, our last, last point. Points. then. Because it's already getting dark. Yes. Yep. They will sell you dreams and lies to make you think they have intentions of being with you long term. This is almost like the first point. Like these guys, you have started dating them. Mm -hmm. So you, you are just sitting there as a baby girl by yourself. A man came, asked you out, you accepted to date this man. This man will start talking about, oh my God, I, I, I want to marry you. I want to take you to my country. Oh my God, you know, I'm building a house. house. But, but I'm building a house. This is Wait. Probably they are saying all this... Be out Wait. of love. No. Because when I meet some you and I love them, you, some I tell you them. all these sweet things. That's no. why, again, I'm saying it's not like for yeah, all of them, but majority. No. no, no. <laughs> it's majority. These it's guys. Kind of I, I've never tried them. I've never tried dating them because I, I've already, I know my weakness. <laughs> so if you're Nigerian and you're looking at me somewhere yeah, and, you're, you're yeah. to, and you know my weakness now already, please don't come at me. <laughs> but I know they are weak. I know. No, my these guys weakness. will literally sell you dreams yeah. like things you were not even they were not even in your mind or in your plans they will sell you those things and that's why the package comes in they will give you the package, the package. okay that's that secret package that yeah. we will tell you guys in the next video so these guys will sell you dreams you will see yourself you will see yourself in your in your in your wedding gown you will see your ashwebi you will see my sister have sense have sense that's wow. all I can say. These people, they will sell you. They will. But do they? Do you think they can marry? Can they marry you even though they have a wife, someone just to show you that no. they are really serious with you? No. But I. But I know a friend who the guy here in Qatar actually, the Nigerian guy went to an extent of going to Kenya, meeting the parents, knowing very well he's a married man back in Nigeria. 
but, but Th this but is just to happens. show you that these guys, if they have set their mind on something, mm. they will, they will achieve it. it. This is one thing I love and hate about them because they can use it negatively, and, yes, yeah. negatively and positively. So, but I think I've also heard a story, similar one. It was okay, we're going to do another video, a whole another we'll be talking video. about social issues and relationships and stuff like that. Yeah, so, it's this, gonna be a this Kenyan guy was married back home, met a lady over here, got her pregnant, they went home to do that an is... engagement okay they had an engagement the family everyone knows their their son is married with, with two kids in another city mm. but this guy never went to the other city and the parents kept quiet wow and, the, and both of them were in doha it's, so not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, just, it's not about you know, nigeria though what, what we are trying These to say, are things that Nigeria, all men do, yes. the Nigerian can maintain it. Yes. Can, they, like, they, they can make you, even if they are, what is this called? They, they can take you to an early grave. <laughs> but then, at the same time, they are buying you a, a nice gown to go with it on that. Because yeah, they, they, mm. they know that they are taking you to that grave. Yeah. But please, make sure you look good on that grave. When, when you're going there. Yeah, like, no. they, you can never... They're trying to love you. No, you can never... No, even the Nigerian... The, I don't know, man. Yeah. If you're not dating the Nigerian, it's even more interesting. And even if you're dating them and you're telling your friends that you're dating... Wow! They always say, like, wow, we're dating a Nigerian. Like, it's so interesting dating a Nigerian man because... It's actually interesting. Interesting, guys, you should try. And even if, if you're try. not dating them, it's even more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you are missing yes. out. I think we've exhausted all our points. Conversation in the comment yeah, section. Yeah, comment section, comment anything you feel we have left. And if you feel you don't agree, if your experience is different, comment positive, down below. Please, positive. Even even negative, uh, it's okay. Negative it's okay. Come, bad, come, 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 come. Yeah, give it to us. Bad, so. Please don't forget to visit her channel also. Uh, if you want to Julia know Barbara. anything about Qatar. You need to go there. Marlik. Her name is, her name is uh, Julia Barbara. No, no, no. I, I call her Madam Kata <laughs> if, if you want, if you want to learn, if you want to be a cabin crew, please go to her channel. She will give you all the tips: how to dress, how to walk, how to smile. Uh, everything is there. So yeah, I think. And this the charges will, the... will also be there. Ex down. Exactly. It's not free. You know? There's a fee. Yeah. A consultation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So guys, this will be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, and uh. We love you all. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. bye. <laughs>